the main event, which is Goyard Monogram. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Mike and my channel is about luxury unboxings, videos, reviews, all those kind of things, fashion, clothes, shoes, jewelry, and today we are doing a review slash talk through the process of Goyard Monogram. How much it costs, how you can do it, when you can do it, where you can do it, what bags, colors, blah, 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 blah. Everything you need to know about Goyard Monogram. So see if that's something you're interested in, stick around, stay tuned, and we'll be right back to you after our commercial break. Do, 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 do. We're back from the break, and I put on a leather jacket. I don't know, I just wanted to. The good app, money gummy process. Full disclosure, I already opened the bag, so it's not going to be as prettily wrapped as it normally is, but it was wrapped just as it would have been if you just bought it new. So the process. So this is how it works, basically. You have three months after you buy a bag to get it monogrammed, just because of where the how the paint settles and how the, the wear of the bag over time with exposure to the air and the elements and things like that. You have up until the three-month point from when you purchased it to monogram it, not from when it was made. Sometimes they have bags in there that are like, you know, a couple years old. I've, I've gone in and I've gotten a bag with a date code of like 2018 or 2019. And I'm like, mm -mm, no, I don't want that. Mm -mm. I want a 2022 because, you know, it just feels, you know, like it's newer. I mean, it is newer, obviously. They made it later. So, so it doesn't matter the date code. It's just about like how they store it. And then when you bring it out into the elements, it experiences the elements. But I was like, mm, devil's advocate, if I store it exactly the way that you store it and it never goes outside, I'd probably use more than three months. My essay was like, no, 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 mm -mm, no, three months. I got this bag in Paris. So, and I just got it back. So it took about three months. So it's like a lot of time, you know, cause usually sometimes they say on the website, it's four to eight weeks or, you know, for simple monogramming, like even less three weeks, but they must be backed up behind and stuff like that. And they send it out to New York or they send it out to San Francisco or they send it to Paris to get it actually done. And somebody sits and hand paints it exactly what you want. Now, how it works. You can put literally almost anything on it as long as it's like, you know, in line with Goyard and not like something like animal violence or like gun. There's like certain things that are off limits, just like there are certain kinds of special made trunks. Like Goyard makes special made trunks that you can order, design completely yourself. Kind of like Hermes with their like special made products, but like it has to be something that is in line with Goyard. And I actually asked my essay because I think they used to do that for a while because they did one for like a writer and he created his own desk and they did one piano. I don't know. They did a bunch of different ones special made but i think now you can't even like make a new one like if i wanted to make a new ring light one for like recording you know these videos can't do that it has to be something that's already been made and you can just remake it and it's a special cost and it can take up to a year i mean it's like a long process anyway scratch that we're not talking about that today the reason i brought that up is is because why did i bring that up Oh yeah, so you can only do um, certain things. I mean, you can do most things on here, but there's a couple of elements for it. There's the color, the size, font, placing, and any kind of extra things, the pricing. And if you want to get it done, you can literally get it done on any canvas bag on the canvas. You cannot, on canvas, you cannot get it heat stamped on the leather. Go ahead, new heat stamp. They only just paint on top of the canvas. And they are painting on top of it, hand painting it. So it will have a painted texture feel. And because it is hand painted, it can also crack, right? Like if you, if it's painted somewhere and they do advise you again to paint somewhere where you like fold it a lot or open it a lot or close it a lot or it bends a lot it is gonna eventually crack over time that's why you see some of these bags with cracked paint the monogramming crack so try to pick a spot that maybe you don't use as much as you normally would i mean don't use really on the bag it kind of just is there and i think i did that we'll see so I got this bag. It is the Saint Leger black backpack, and I have the Saint Leger green backpack. I didn't think I was actually gonna like it as much as I did, and then I did. But then it's like I wanted it to be, as you know, I love my stuff to be one of a kind and unique. So I wanted to put a monogram on it so that it would be unique and one of a kind for me. And I was gonna do my initials, but I thought. Mm, my initials, a lot of people could have my initials. And also my initials, then it could be mistaken for my sister's bag or my mom's bag or my kid's bag or my cousin's bag. If I put my name, my full name, first name, then it's only my bag. And there are literally, you guys, there's probably like six Mayanks in the whole world. Like, hey Mayank, hey Mayank, hey Mayank, hey Mayank, hey Mayank. Like that's it. And I've never even met any of them. I know, I know of two other ones that exist. Oh no, I haven't met one. But recently. And then funnily enough, there was a Mayank that rented my room in college, my apartment over the summer, same exact room, uh, but I never met him either because it was all done after I left and, bef and he left before I came back. Anyway, so I got my name monogram. So you can get up to six letters. So you can do, you know, initials, or you could do like dots with your initials, or you can do up to six letters. If you want more, it's more. If you want, you get two colors. So this is it. Okay, so the price, the pricing is it's 175 for the lettering and 175 for the stripes. In that 175 pricing for the the lettering, you can get up to six letters. You can get two colors, two tone colors, like a you know a, sh a shadow and the main color, and you can get any of the colors except for the metallic. So the metallic colors, rose gold, gold and silver, 
are an extra 175. So they're just double. And that's for everything. If you do anything else with them, they're double. So whatever the price is, you double it, which is annoying, but I guess they have to make that paint special and all like that. And they hand paint it on. So yes, like I said, it does have a very hand painted feel, which is, you know, different. And then you have four different sizes. I think it's like one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, four centimeter, maybe. But it's basically, they, they are like, you know, like tiny, tiny, tiny. So like this, 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 and two fonts. So here's that, like I said, I already unboxed this. So not very surprising because it's already out of its bag. I didn't give the dust bag or the straps when I gave it in. So they didn't, obviously they didn't come back with it because I think I was really actually kind of hoping they would just give me an extra dust bag because they, they never have extra dust bags. And my essay was like, I'm writing down that it didn't go with the dust bag. And I was like, mm, can you just like not, and then have them give me a dust bag back. But I guess they don't have an extra dust bag. I mean, Briar doesn't have an extra dust bag. And no extra boxes, no boxes for any of these bags. It was really annoying. So, so I, so I went there, like somebody called me on Monday and told me that it was ready. And I was like, oh, okay. I've been asking my essay for months. Like every week, I, every time I go in and I buy something, obviously you guys see that I buy something every week, basically. Every time I go in and I ask my bag, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's like New York has it, they don't know. So at some point I like decided I wanted to get this done and I was like, okay, what are my color combos? So I asked my essay and she was like, you can go online, you can see all the color combos, they're there, you can play with them, you can play with different backgrounds. And it's really easy on the personalization tab, I think it's the second tab, you just click it and you can click, you know, what color the bag is and you have all 11 options. You don't have the specialty colors, so you have to kind of imagine for those. And then you have two font sizes, two font styles, not all four. And then you have the color options for the front, for the main color and the background color. So basically, you guys here it is so she brought it out mm -hmm. she brought it out I, I was like so somebody called me and said it was ready and i was like oh okay so I, that was like on a monday and i was like oh okay i'm so excited but i didn't go until wednesday and i guess my essay didn't even know when i told her when i walked in i was like hey i'm here to see this she just knew i was coming she didn't really know what i was coming for oh, i guess i was coming to get the plumet too but i was like my bag is in somebody called me on monday and she's like really well let me go see so she went up the stairs to go see and then she came back and she like carried it like you know hidden and she's like are you ready are you ready for the reveal and it was super exciting so like, i'm gonna do it too and i'm gonna reveal it to you guys too go this way. oh i get to look at it first that's fine okay so I got, so this is my Saint Leger backpack. Right now it's, it has its briefcase form, barely used it. It still has a little thing on because I wanted to wait for this to happen. And so she held it like this and she was like, <gasps> oh! how cool is that? I will definitely bring it up close so you guys can see it. But okay, it's so it's my name picked rose gold mm -hmm. and a red backing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, clever. So if I'm ever carrying either of this, this bag with either of these bags, mm -hmm. Set also matches my key paw, which is the black damier with the red trimming, which I got in 2016 from Paris Limited Edition. It is my favorite thing I love in the world. So there were four sizes. I got the set, the second largest size. The largest size would have been like this. It would have been like huge, huge, like it would have been the whole thing. And they, they, so they are also very specific about where it can go. Like they, it, I wanted to put it actually originally up here. I thought it would be kind of, kind of cool and subtle and like only I can see it. But then if you're looking, you can see it. But they said they couldn't because of the metal rod. And I was like, fine. Then I wanted to put it like, I wanted to put it here in the middle with a stripe going across and they said they wouldn't because of the buttons so not here and not here with the stripe i could have done the stripe this way but it would you know it might fold and like stripe across the whole middle seemed a lot so we ended up on this way and i think this is a good spot because i mean like if i feel it right now it is i can feel the pain i mean unless i'm like pulling it from here which i guess i could be but usually i pull it from this corner and this corner so i pull it like this this is where it gets creased and this is where it gets creased so there's no creasing here if i pull it from here i can pull it straight up so I just want to avoid getting this creasing, but I really like how the rose gold kind of matches this and tints a little bit, but it still sticks out. So the rose gold was double pricing. So instead of 175, it was 350, which I was like, Ugh. but I thought, I also thought that I would get, I could get two metallic colors for 350, but no, if you want, I wanted rose gold with the silver background. If you want that, it's 700. And the machine they were using, so they have a different machine than the one online, which I'll talk about in a sec, but the machine they were using said it was 350, so I was like, I'll go with that. Okay, so we'll talk more about the process and the colors and everything like that. At the store, you have a machine you can use to to pick your colors. So they have a bunch of samples out of like, it actually there, which you can touch and see like a like a board, with like different options. You can do letterings, you can do numbers, you can do symbols, you can do like these cool like star things where it's like a star or a circle with your initials inside of it. And those are like, I think like, I wanna say like five or six or 700. Then uh, you, so you can do your numbers or letters or everything like that up to six is 175. Stripes, you can do vertical, diagonal, horizontal, two horizontal, two vertical, two vertical, two diagonal, two horizontal, two. I think you can do two horizontal too, although I've never seen it. I don't even think I've ever seen any horizontal, but they said you could do it. It's just usually it's vertical and diagonal and sometimes it's two diagonals or two verticals, right? And then within that, there's two to three 
columns you can have in each row, in each line, basically big line is divided into three lines, you up to three lines. You can do one solid color, you can do two half half, or you could do three with like a thicker one in the middle and then two small ones. And you get to pick those colors too. So you could do, so usually you do it like what your words are because you're matching words. So you could do the two colors that contrast with the words that complement the words, or you could do three colors. I've seen people do three colors. I don't know if that's more expensive. I assume that if you're doing a third color and you're asking for an additional color, it's probably going to be another 175. So be wary of that, but you want to, I saw someone that did like their initials with like six different colors. Like the S was one, it was SD. I, it was like a, a celebrity. S was one color. The background was a different color. The pop period was a different color. The background of the period was a different color. The D was a different color. The D background was a different color. And the D, D period and background were different colors. So there was, I think eight colors on it. So that must've been like extra. And it was like huge. It covered the whole bag. But I want to get my two simple ones. I didn't want any yachts. And then you could also get, which I didn't know, you can get literally anything. You could bring a painting. You could bring a photo in. You could bring a drawing. You could bring all these sorts of things and have them put that on the bag. So like if you wanted to have a doggy bag, you doggy bag. If you want to have like a little tote for your dog or your dog stuff and you wanted to put their face on it, then you could literally get one with their face, like a, a drawn image of their face painted on or a photograph painted on. Like I want to get a little tote. Little, either one of the doggy carrier totes for air travel, which we still haven't taken them airline traveling yet on a, on a plane yet, but we're planning to this year to Paris or to the East Coast. Uh, I still want to get the airplane carrier thing because it's just like a cute little thing I can carry him around in when he doesn't want to walk. Or I could just get a regular tote or bag, like one of those sturdier bags and have it for all of his stuff that I carry with me. Like when I have need all of his, all of Chai's stuff. Anyway, so yeah, you can put anything. And those, those things start, I think at 800 and go up to 2000 plus, depending on how intricate, how big, all that kind of stuff. In addition to getting the initials in line. So you can literally spend, if you get a $2,000 bag, you can spend another like two to three to four, maybe $4,000 to getting like the, the bag exactly how you want. Like I said, this took 12 weeks. One thing that's different for the Artois bag and the Artois bag only, the Artois one is the one with the zipper. So there's three sizes. Again, most people don't know this. The PM that's smaller than the St. Louis PM. And there's an MM that's bigger than the PM, but smaller than the St. Louis GM. There's an Artois GM that nobody knows about. It's a travel size bag. And it's literally like maybe a hundred, hundred fifty dollars more, but it's like this gigantic. I got one. I haven't done the unboxing. I mean, I filmed the unboxing, but I haven't posted it yet. So I'll post it when you guys see it. It's like this big. It's like huge travel size, like luggage. And so the Artois, those three bags, they're zippered and I think they're like one of their like, like because there's some reason for it. Oh, they also have red stitching inside on the handles, which is not on, like all the bags have red stitching because red is actually the original like Goyard color, or, like color of the house of Goyard or their stitching or their lining or their wood or something like that. With those Artois, you're allowed to get free initialing, but oh, there are many caveats. And they say it takes two to three weeks. My neighbor actually, he asked me to help him get his because they were telling him six to eight weeks or 10 to 12 weeks or something like that. And so I told him to talk to my essay and try to get it, you know, shortened because he wanted to get the free one for his uh, wife and wanted to get it quickly. And so the free one, you have only one size option or maybe one or two size options. You only have one font option and you can only have, there's only eight color options. It's just like basically the prime, the basic colors of the Goyard come in and you don't have any shadow. So it's just literally that. And you can only do two initials, maybe three, maybe you can do three, two initials in a period or three initials. And you can only put them, you can only put them in two spots, right on the top in the center or right in the inside flap where the zipper, like the, the valley where the zipper is, slides together in that flap in the center. Those are the only two spots you can put it. You can't put it anywhere else. If you want to put it else, it's more expensive. If you add a shadow, it's another 175. If you want to add more letters, it's another 175. If you want to use a special color, it's another 175 or 350 if it's metallic. So yeah, but if you want to just get a little simple monogram for free on your nice bag, that has your initials, so it's personalized for you forever. It's free, which is, you know, no, a lot of people don't know about, and they don't always tell you. They're supposed to tell you a time of purchase, and a lot of them don't tell you. And then when you go back and try to get it, they're like, well, you should have gotten this at a time of purchase. And like, nobody told me to get it at a time of purchase. So that's a little bit of an issue because they never say it, and then you just find out. But they are good about honoring it, especially when it's, you know, in the first couple of days or the first month, I think they'll honor it. Don't quote me on that. So that's the Artois special lettering. So they have those little um, charts where you can see all the colors in person and touch them with stuff like that. And they also have this iPad where you can actually play with it a lot more like real and you can pick which bag. They have a lot of bag options. They didn't have this one, but they had something, they had the Artois, they had the Anjou, they had like different other bags you can try. They had like uh, the Viet Tote. So you can try a different bag that might have the right, more of a structure with the handles and stuff like that. And you can play with it, the size and fonts and everything like that. And you can play with the colors. And so I had already picked out my colors when I went there. I had like spent a lot of time on the website. I picked it out, I narrowed it, I asked all my friends and family. I had like a huge, huge thing of every color combo that could possibly work on this and what I wanted and what, what's gonna last for a long time that I'm gonna love and never get tired of. And it's gonna be like my style in 20 years and 30 years, 40 years. Then I got there and I was ready to do it. And then I looked in the corner. Earlier I said that they can do rose gold, gold and silver as well. 
on the website, they only have gold and silver. They do not have rose gold because rose gold was a very special color and gold and silver they bring back on other bags. So I didn't know that rose gold was an option. So I had my combinations and then I, I look at the corner of my eye. I was like, what color is that? She, and she was like brown or whatever. I was like, no, no, no. Clicked on it and we found out it was the rose gold copper, but it's the rose gold bag. And I was like, oh, this threw me for a huge loop. So then I had to like spend another 20 minutes trying to figure out which rose gold combination I might want, which was really frustrating because I'm super indecisive. So then I went through and she let me just play with the iPad and you could pick out the fonts, you pick out the size and you could see what it looks like and, you, and then kind of like, you know, yeah, you can see exactly what it looks like, but like on the bag closer in there. And so I picked out my favorite rose gold option, which was rose gold black or no, it was black words with rose gold behind it. So it would go black, rose gold, black, and it kind of like almost blended and be a little more subtle because I was trying to be a little more subtle and I wanted it to be black on black. And then she was good with that. She actually agreed with that. My friend who was there agreed with that. Instead of going rose gold, black, black. Actually, I was gonna, sorry. I was gonna do rose gold and silver and with the rose gold with the silver backing and it looked beautiful, it looked great. The iPad said that I could do it for 350 and I was like, great, love this. Let's do it for 350 because I'm already paying 350 for one metal color. I might as well get two. Um, and my sales associate was like, I don't think you can, but let's try it. And I said, oh, great, let's try it because the machine says you can. And then we went to go ring it up and it ended up being 700 or whatever because the machine, I guess, was wrong. Which I was like, mm. I should have asked them to honor it, but I was being, you know, I wasn't being in my like authoritative customer mood. I was like, more my like, me, it's okay, fine mood. So I, then I was like, well, now I have to pick a whole new combination. So I ended up going with black and rose gold because I thought it was simple and subtle and not too flashy. And it kind of like almost blends in if you're not really looking because it's hidden because it's black on black. And then I went home and I thought about it and I was like, do I really like that? Do I really want that? Am I gonna love that? I freaked out and I had a whole spiral. So I called her the next day and I was like, can I come back in and just do a couple more options? I think it was maybe two days later. And so she gave me the iPad. I literally sat there for 45 minutes, no joke, took me every possible combo, color combo that I could ever want, took a photo of it on the iPad. So I had like like a hundred plus photos of my name in, in and I was also sure sure about the size. I wasn't sure if I wanted this size or if I wanted like the really big, like screaming my name. I'm glad I didn't get because that would have been really loud. But so that versus that. Oh, uh, so she gave me the time. So I took the photos and I, I was like, I'll text you by the end of the day. So I took the photos home and I stared at them. I sent them to everyone and everyone, anyone I knew. I was like, help me pick them down. I narrowed it down to a few. And then I ended up going with this, but I did not tell anyone I was going with this. And then I texted her and I was like, this is what they want. And she was like, she had to, she had to rush to get it to New York because they could have already started, blah, blah, blah. Luckily it came out exactly how we wanted it. And there we are. So that's this. Now we talk about everything the stripes the colors thicknesses there's two different fonts and four sizes oh they also have this thing in the store like a little like clear plasticky thing that you can put over any bag with the letter in different sizes it's only in black i think or black with red or something maybe something like that so you just put it over and kind of see what it looks like on any color bag which is nice but yeah i mean that's pretty much the gist of the monogramming process i had a great experience i know there's some videos of people that had horrible experiences i had a great experience i think it turned out great i mean it's it feels a little wet and like i almost feel like it can come off but it's i don't think it's going to i wasn't like a hundred percent in love with it when i first saw it but everyone else like the three other sales associates and I don't know how much they were just being like oh my god it's so great and my friend and my sales associate were all like it looks so beautiful it looks so great 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 job I kind of wanted to like ask and I was going to call before but I didn't I kind of wanted to ask like what is the return slash exchange process if you don't end up liking the color you got and I'm sure there is something because I saw another woman's video on YouTube where she got something very wrong like it was off center and things like that and she didn't like it and so she sent it back and it took another couple of months yeah that's the other thing they have to like they will only center it here and here and here they'll center it in between these like it has to have some certain standard that that will not you know be broken so you are limited on your choices on the Saint Louis bag people put it in the bottom corner the top left da, 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 da. I think you can put a lot of places there and the stripes can go kind of like all over the place but yeah this is what, I'm gonna open it up all the way just so you can see what it looks like when it's this is what it looks like big thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please 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 consider subscribing and please give it a smash that like button and please share with your friends and family I know your time is valuable I know your time is precious so I appreciate you spending your time here with me I'll see you in the next one if you have any questions about this please leave them in the comments below